Hi there, today I want to talk to you about AutoCAD's user coordinate system. AutoCAD is already set up with what's called a world coordinate system. If you look over here, you'll see that north faces upwards, south is the bottom of the screen, with west and east across left and right. But underneath this compass, you'll see WCS, and this stands for world coordinate system. So any blank AutoCAD drawing that you open up is using world coordinate system. I have here in front of me an Ordnance Survey map. The Ordnance Survey also used the World Coordinate System where north is truly north. So the buildings and the streets that you see shown on screen here have the correct orientation that they have in real life. So this is the site I'm going to look at here. You can see that many of the angles on this site are not facing north-south or east-west. So it can make it difficult to draw on a site like this. So what would work is if we could rotate this site so that, say, this line will be running top-bottom, this line here would be running left and right. But to do this, we'd need to rotate the drawing. Now, we have a rotate tool here, but if we were to use this tool to rotate the entire drawing, the drawing would lose its world coordinate systems. So if we were to share the drawing with other disciplines, they'd find it very difficult to reference this drawing into their work. So instead, we use a system called the User Coordinate System. With this tool, we temporarily rotate model space, and therefore everything contained in model space will rotate too. We're going to assign a new user coordinate system, but before we do this, we need to understand the XY axes. AutoCAD displays XY axes in this corner of the drawing area. If, like in this drawing, they're not being shown, simply type in UCS icon, and I'm going to turn it on. And you'll see here's my UCS icon. So you can see the X axis runs left to right, the y-axis runs up and down, and the point of origin is where these two axes meet. So first of all, I'm going to decide on a line that I'm going to use for my new x-axis. And I'm going to use this line across here. And my new y-axis will be this one here. My point of origin will be this point here. So to do this, I'm going to type in UCS and press Enter you can see that AutoCAD is prompting me to specify origin of UCS. So I'm going to click just on this corner here as my new point of origin. I'm going to click there. You can see there's my XY axis attached to the point of origin. But if you look at the prompt, it says specify the point on the X axis. So I'm going to drag along here until I find an object snap that snaps somewhere along this line. There we go. There's one there, so I'll click there. You can see that my cursor is changing as I'm changing the user coordinate system. Now I'm being prompted to specify a point on the XY plane. Essentially what it's looking for is looking for a point on the Y axis. So again, I'm going to move my mouse until I find an object snap, which this one there. So I'm going to click there. If you have a look here now, you will see that the view cube here has rotated. So top is no longer facing directly up towards north. It has rotated. Also, if I go to draw a polyline, and if I turn on my ortho, because I've changed the user coordinate system, my ortho has now set so that lines are drawn parallel and perpendicular to the XY axes. However, when we draw, we're used to XY running top, bottom, left, right, not to be angled like this. So to change the rotation of the whole view, if I type in the word plan and press enter once, and then enter a second time to accept the current user coordinate system. The drawing will zoom to extents and model space will rotate. So now if I go back to my site, you'll see now that these lines run north, south, east, west. If we have a look over here at the compass, you'll see now that what I've got underneath it is called an unnamed UCS. So I actually want to name this because you can have a number of user coordinate systems set up on one drawing. You could have one for a particular building, you could have one for each site that you're working on. So for now, I want to change this to a named user coordinate system. So I'm going to type in UCS again and press enter. This time the option I'm going to go for is this one here, named. So I'm going to type in NA for named and press enter. And I want to save that, so I'll click save here. So enter name to save current UCS. I'm going to type in public park. And press, oh, just put a space there, press enter. So now you'll see here that the UCS says public park. So what if I was to collaborate with somebody else? What if I was to send this drawing back? 
and I wanted to revert to the world coordinate system. Well, that's simply enough done. If I go over here and click on the small downward facing arrow, you'll see that WCS, the world coordinate system, is listed under here. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to type plan, enter, enter, to rotate to the world coordinate system. Is our site. If I want to go back to the public park, I click public park, plan, enter, enter, and it rotates to suit our site. Thank you.